Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, just wanted to give you an update on those ASF babies. That one mother had 19 little babies. Um, they're pretty much weaned. Um, eyes are open. They've been playing and running around a little bit. and It's interesting to see how quickly they grow. And the differences in litters, like well, smaller litters, at the same age, like I have a group that has, um, I believe it's like eight or nine babies that were born at almost the same time those babies still don't have their eyes open and may be almost double the size of these ones which is, is really unique just because of the size of the litter they're a lot bigger babies even though um, you know they're at the same place development wise um, you know with their eyes open and that type of thing so uh, your, you know your size of your babies um, can definitely differ between litter sizes but can be healthy you know be small and healthy or you know larger and healthy so kind of interesting fact but uh, what I want to talk to you today about is a quick video is when you have these African soft fur rats and sometimes it seems like um, if you're just getting into it, your first litter um, almost seems like you're waiting forever like are these things gonna ever have babies um, one of those things um, you know, there is 21 day gestational period for them to, you know, be pregnant and then to give birth. Um, but a lot of times I think what happens is when you get these babies, you know, from a breed or whatever, um, you think, you know, within a few weeks they're going to start mating. Well, sometimes it takes them just a little longer, just like in this case where, you know, these guys are small, even though they've developed, you know, it might take them, you know, maybe a couple more weeks to start breeding where maybe one of the smaller litters with the bigger babies maybe would breed sooner so you got to think that um, you know they're gonna breed when they're ready um, they're not always just gonna breed you know to a certain timetable so keep that in mind next thing to think about is first litters a lot of times can be a little tricky sometimes you'll have smaller first litters and sometimes you'll have cannibalism and you know there's really nobody that can tell why this happens there's some ideas and I have a few tricks that could help eliminate cannibalism with your litters uh, one of the biggest things is the diet uh, you know I've stressed this before in other videos when breeding you want a high protein low fat diet but something else to think about is with these guys giving them like the mealworm supplements high protein diet um, there's another option too that you could toss in there that I found and I picked it up at the local dollar store But it's a it's for dogs. It's like a beef jerky uh, jerky treat But again, you need to watch the, the the percentage of the protein and the fat These have a real high protein. I want to say 70 80 percent protein and very low fat four or five percent It's okay to give you know your nursing mothers and even the father in the group a little bit of that also in their diet I think if you keep them very well fed high protein you're gonna eliminate the the acts um, for them eating for the nutrients now there's a couple other reasons why they may do this um, it's not always nutrients it's also fear um, do you have any other pets in the house um, where do you have your rodents at can you know do you have a cat or a dog that maybe is you know coming up to the cage and these mothers feel like um, you know their babies are going to be eaten so rather than give the nutrients to you know the cat or dog in the house the, the parents may you know, decide to go ahead and eat their litters so that's something you need to watch as well um, everything else uh, comes down to diet and them feeling safe and secure so you know make sure you have hides in there for these guys um, make sure you don't bother them a lot whenever you know, these babies are small you know try to give them their space and make them feel safe and secure you know I know you're gonna have cage cleanings and things like that um, that you're gonna attend to but try to do it if you can help it give those babies you know a week or so before you go in there and clean the cage if the mother just had them you know, try not to do it in day one or day two um, that might also save you uh, some headaches down the road so, again, thanks for tuning in. Just an ASF rat update. And any uh, anybody needs to like and subscribe and come along this journey, we're going to learn a lot about ASF rats and also ball python breeding and ASF breeding. Like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks again.